All right, welcome back. We're on lesson six, and today we're going to be talking about types of angles, and we're also going to be talking about measuring angles. So let's first look at our learning goal. All right, please go ahead and rate yourself and put a circle around it by the title of your lesson. And we have first here, and I'll make the screen a little bit bigger, an acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures 90 degrees, and here's an example of a acute angle. Yes, you're copying down this in, this in your notes. You have an obtuse angle. It is an angle that measures more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. You have a right angle, and all of these are examples of right angles. It's an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. And the way we mark or denote a right angle is we put this little box there. That's how we know that it's a 90 degree angle. It's this perpendicular box that we use. We have a straight angle. It's an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. So here are some examples of that. And then the last angle that we have to talk about is a reflex angle. A reflex angle is an angle that measures more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. So this angle right here is the reflex angle Okay, on the outside. The inside is an acute angle. All right, so let's talk about naming angles. So let's say I have this angle. It's A, B, C. Well, there are three ways that I can name this angle. I can name it as angle B because that is the vertex. I can name it angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, C. And notice the vertex B is in the middle of angle A, B, C. And then I can also name it angle C, B, A. Okay, so notice in the middle, every single time is the vertex, right? Let's try another one. Let's do D, F, and R. So this is really angle D. This can be also angle F, D, R, or this can be angle R, D, F. All right, you try this one. Here are the letters for it. I'll let you name those angles and you can bring it in to me tomorrow. All right, now we're getting a little bit trickier. Okay, so if I have BACF, I have actually three angles here. I have this really big angle, okay, it's angle BCF. Angle BCF can also be angle F. C, B. Now I have another angle here, this one. I have A, C, B. I also have angle B, C, A. And the third angle I have is right here. We have angle A, C, F. And we have angle F, C, A. Now notice, I did not ever say angle C because angle C could be one of three angles. Angle C could be this angle, this angle, or this angle. So it doesn't make sense to say angle C here. In this case, we have to give all three of our letters. For homework, I would like you to draw three examples of acute angles. Draw, draw three examples of an obtuse angle, draw three reflex angles, and draw three examples of right angles. Good work tonight, and I will see you tomorrow.